Hello everybody, thanks for tuning in for this poster presentation on GMDS. My name is Andreas Meyer and I'm presenting this poster here on behalf of all the authors that you can see here on my first slide. So the topic today is gamification and I want to present to you an idea that we used in Audience Eye in order to generate labels. So you know that in medical data labels is a huge problem and here we looked into labels for ophthalmic data. So you see that we were using uh, data from the ODIR grant challenge and we look into the fundus imaging, so the background of the eyes, so we're interested in different diseases of the retina. The nice thing about this database is that it has more than 7,000 images. So we were using those images in order to test an idea for generating labels with gamification. We created this game called Odin's Eye. This is actually the result of a seminar work that took place in the last semester. We have several different game modes. The most easy ones is the normal mode where you essentially have one image shown and you get to assign one of five different pathologies or non-pathologic. We also have the unlabeled mode here on the right hand side where you then get shown some unlabeled image and you have to assign a new category. So in normal mode you have three lives. You can then advance to the unlabeled mode as soon as you completed 10 points. So we kind of try to calibrate that our labelers are already familiar with the kind of images that are shown and only then you can go to unlabeled mode and in unlabeled mode you can generate new labels. These two game modes are kind of standard and to be honest in gamification these games are not as much fun. So we came up with a third game mode that is the difficult game mode and here we essentially use the game mechanics from Candy Crush. So you swap and try to match triplets of the same kind of disease and then they eliminate each other as soon as you assign the correct triplets. The interesting thing about this idea is that you can now mix in unknown classes and try to assign them to new labels. And because when you try to assign a triplet, you will always know the two other classes, which kind of allows us to blend in unlabeled samples. In order not to disturb the game flow, we treat the unlabeled examples as kind of wildcards, such that they will always try to find a match with the next two labeled classes. And of course, we would only regard this as an addition to the ground truth annotation if this is a clear match. I mean, there could be constellations where the match is not clear. We would then, of course, neglect these cases. And you can see also in the video that I'm going to blend in in a couple of seconds that I think this game kind of makes fun. And to be honest, the first time I've been playing this game, I said, OK, I will just record a short video and play it for maybe 20 seconds to blend in here. But to be honest, I was keeping playing for 11 and a half minutes. So I think this is a pretty cool idea. I hope I could convince you that this is a nice idea for generating labels and that also game annotation, gamification is not just about generating valid labels, but also fun is a significant component in order to make these games really good. So let's summarize this a bit. We created a complete crowdsourcing game. We can train the workers with labeled data and then the qualified workers would be able to perform on unlabeled data. Of course, this is only the result of a seminar work. So right now we only have six kinds of images. There's only a limited amount of images. And for example, we can't deal with uncertainties in the labelings. Right now each image has to be one category. In future work, of course, we want to enable a distribution over the labels. So thank you very much for listening. And if you have any questions, you can send us email. We will put links into the description and leave a comment. So looking forward to hear from you. Bye bye.